today is the last day of August, August 31st, a Wednesday. I'm going to be going over one of my favorite Ninza indicators, the Superior Bollinger. So I'm going to go ahead and add a Ninza Superior Bollinger to this chart. That's what it looks like right out of the box here. Uh, I'm sure most everyone has used a Bollinger indicator and with the Ninza Superior Bollinger it just makes it a lot more visually appealing and you have way more options for customization. Uh, you can choose the MA type between any of these. Uh, I'll use a 20 SMA and then you can always use a, a smoothing feature which you can smooth with any of these moving averages as well. And then it has these uh, bars and signals for when a bar closes outside of the Bollinger lines. Um, on the upside or the downside. And what I like to do, I've got a couple templates. Basically I just remove the arrows and I change the color of these bars. Uh, everything else is the same. And then I would add another superior Bollinger. And I've got another template for that, which is the exact same as this, except um, I've got the standard deviation changed to a 3 instead of a 2. I've got the bar color changed here, so you'll see when it breaks above the upper line, it's a darker color. When it's just breaking above the first Bollinger line, it's a lighter color. Uh, same on the way down. So just an extra little visual cue for me that helps. Uh, and then something else I like to do is add an RSI. I'm using the Superior RSI by Ninza, but I mean really you can use any RSI indicator. I like Ninza's RSI. It allows you to add this gradient color to the RSI and it's got some shaded over sold and overbought zones and you can also it'll it'll change the color of the background when it's overbought or oversold. But I'm not going to get into that now because I want to focus on the Superior Bollinger. So I'm going to add another superior Bollinger. Uh, I'm going to load a simple template that I have, which is basically this, except uh, there's no shading of the cloud and there's no bar color. I'm going to change the input to being the Ninza Superior RSI. So now I have the RSI with the Bollinger around the RSI. And uh, yeah, this is one of my favorite Bollinger setups. Um, I'm going to do a little review for today's New York Open here. Uh, there's a few different ways that I use this setup. When the RSI is hitting the, the upper line of the Bollinger, uh, it's often going to bounce down. Uh, especially right here, had a little bit of divergence there. Uh, as price is going higher, the RSI was lower. And then we took off a little bit lower. And then something like here where it goes through the lower line of the Bollinger and then when it's coming back, when the RS line is coming back up above the lower line of the Bollinger, um, it's a good chance that it will reverse. And we had a nice little reversal there. So that's one of the ways I use the RSI and the Bollinger. So right at, right at the market open here, uh, a couple things I'm looking for if it's if it's below in this pink cloud, I'm looking for shorts. And if price is above in these blue clouds, I'm looking for longs uh, if it crosses this median line. Uh, I'm also looking for these short bursts here when the bar first closes. When I get a bearish print and the bar first closes out of this Bollinger, I'm definitely looking for a initial burst short if all my other analysis is pointing bearish. But right here, it, you, know, you can see you could get in at 4.45. Um, went down almost 50 points right there. Keep your stop above this median line here. Uh, and then when it prints a normal candle and it stops printing these bearish candles, that means the price is broken above this lower Bollinger line. And when price does that, it'll often retrace back up to the middle line and sometimes even up to the 
upper cloud line, which it did here. And we also had the RSI crossing the Bollinger, lower Bollinger here. So I would definitely be curious about a long right there. 16 to 56, there's another 40 points potential there. It hit the upper Bollinger line, and then you just see all these wicks start forming. Uh, it's looking like a potential uh, potential reversal here going short, but don't really have enough confirmation yet. But once it crosses this median line here, um, and we get the first close there below the line, below the center line at 56, I would definitely be looking to take that short at least down to this lower cloud line. It's like 25 points right there. Uh, we get another bearish print, so we're still kind of still kind of want to be looking for shorts. We're in this red cloud zone. Um, price comes up and touches the middle line, and then you can see here's the rejection. We have a close down. We have a red candle close below the median line. Um, I'd be looking to take that rejection right there uh, at 50, back down to the lower cloud level. 13, that's about 35 points right there. I know these candles look small, but these are actually really big moves. Touches the lower cloud, uh, bounces back up, bounces right off this median line again. Um, you know, we're still in this red zone. It's just looking for shorts all the way down here. Uh, there's, another, there's another rejection right off of the middle line. It did go down quite a bit. And now what I'm starting to notice is that price is moving lower, but the RSI is higher. Like over here, the price was higher, the RSI was lower. And now the price is lower and the RSI is higher. So that's divergence right there. I would be looking for a long, but I'd want to wait till it crossed above um, the center line and right here we have a close above the center line at 98. Uh, I'd be trying to ride it up to the upper cloud there. 18, it's about 20 points. The market's definitely been bearish all day, so I wouldn't want to be holding onto that trade too long. And uh, you can see it bounced right off the upper cloud here. And I would definitely be looking to take it short again once it crossed below the median line uh, at 75. Uh, down to this cloud that's 57, almost another 20 points there, and the price action continues to be bearish. You can see all the different ways that you can use this. Uh, could be incorporated into just about any style, and the Ninza version, the Superior Bollinger, just makes it so much easier to see with all the different uh, colors and parameters that you can change. And you know, there are a few different creative ways to use this with other indicators. Okay.